Hi, we are going to talk about estimation. Now, this topic is a lot about using decimals for estimation. So what exactly are we talking about when we say estimation? For example, let's look at the fraction one third. If we try to write this fraction as a decimal, You can use a calculator to do it, or you can do it by long division. You find that in decimal, it is 0 0.3333333333. And you find that it goes on forever. So, of course, on the calculator, you only see about 10 digits or so, because the calculator only has a fixed number of places to show you. But in actual fact, in decimal, the one-third would be a recurring decimal that continues forever. So, we can't actually write out all the decimal places that there are. So the way to deal with this is to chop off the number somewhere. Now the idea is that if we keep more places, that means if we chop it off further away, then the answer would be more accurate. But the problem, of course, is that we need more spaces to write. So usually, we have to decide on a certain number of places to chop off when we can accept that it's accurate enough. Now that is always a tricky question. I'll talk a bit more about it um, later on. So in this case, let's just say, for example, that I decide to chop it off here. There. Yeah. So I say I decide that um, I only have enough space to write four decimal places, and that that's good enough, accurate enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that one third is equal to zero point three 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 three. That's it. That's my one third. So it's not exactly one third, but it's kind of accurate enough for me. So if, if I write it this way, um, I'm, I could write say an approximate sign here to say that it's not exactly the same. And then when I do this, I say that I've, there are different ways to describe what I'm doing here. I can say that I've rounded off this decimal number or this one third to one, two, three, four decimal places. So that's what we are talking about when, when we say estimation in this case. We are using this point three, 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 three as an estimate of the real number, which is one third. It's not the exact number, but it's a kind of a estimates. Right. So in this case, we can describe how accurate it is. There are different ways to talk about how accurate such a number is. The obvious way is to just count the number of decimal places. In this case, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, and you say that there are 4 decimal places. So that gives you an idea. Because obviously, if you have more decimal places, it is more accurate. All right, because you keep more of the, the answer. And now, if you think about it this way, um, you can think about why keeping more places is more accurate. Because if you if you if I chop it off here, I'm throwing away this part of the answer. If I take more decimal places, then I'm throwing away a smaller part because the decimals further away are actually smaller numbers. So keeping more decimal places means that I throw away less and less. And that means that the answer is more accurate. So that's one way to think about it. Now another way to think about it is the number of figures. We call it the number of significant figures. 
if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, if you, if you count the non-zero numbers here, that also gives you an idea of how accurate it is. Now, in this case, for example, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 significant figures. Now, let's look, take a look at the idea of significant figures. It is actually different from the number of decimal places. So I'll write down two examples here. If 1.273 and 0.033. Right, let's look at these three numbers here. What I want to talk about now is the idea of a significant figure. So if I look at this number, the number of significant figures, in order to find that number, I must start counting from the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So the number of significant figures for this number is 4. Right? I'll use the SF, short for significant figure. For this number, there are 4 significant figures. But for that number, 0 0.033, when I count the number of figures, I must always start from the left, but I must ignore the zeros Right? I must ignore the first zeros that I see on the left, so I have to go, I ignore that zero, ignore the zero, and I start counting at the first non-zero number that I see. So that would be number one and number two, two significant figures. So if I have the 0 0.3333, that would be, I would start from the left, I would ignore the zero, and then I'll see the zero at the three, so I count three, 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 that's four places. Okay. Another example. What if I have, say, 1.2700? Zero, zero. How many significant figures are there? So I will start from the left. And 1 is not 0, so I count, start counting. 1 as a figure, so 1, 2, 3, and I see a 0 there. Do I count that 0? Yes. You count everything after the first digit that is not 0. So I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I include both zeros at the end. So this would be 5 figures. Now it might seem strange that we want to include the zeros at the end. Why do we want to include the zeros at the end? That the reason is because if I have a certain number of digits um, at the end of the number, that tells me something about the error that is thrown away. Now remember what I what we saw here, this one third is a recurring decimal where you have 0.3333 that goes on forever. If I chop it off here, it becomes four decimal places. And when I what I chop off is a chunk of number. Alright? And this thing that I chop off is the error. And as, uh, as I've mentioned just now, if I chop it off further away, further to the right, then I chop off a, a, a smaller number. Okay, the further I go to the right, the smaller those numbers are because they are very high decimal places and there will be less error. Okay, so in this case, if I have a number that goes 1.2700, now the Having the two zero here actually tells me something 
about the error. It tells me that maybe there are more places behind the zero, but I've decided to chop it off there. Rather than there. Because if I've left out those two zero, it suggests that I've chopped it off there. Then I would have chopped out more of the decimals. But if I include those zeros, it means that it is the error is chopped off after the two zero, so that the error is actually smaller because we have chopped off the higher decimal places, right? So having the two zero extra zero to the right tells me that the error is smaller. So it is because of this that we, we need to count the two zeros when we count significant figures. Because the, most, the idea is that the more significant figures we have, the smaller is the error. So in this case, that will be five significant figures. Now if we come back to the point 0 0.033, Right? We don't count the two zeros to the left because simply because we, we chop off to the right. We chop off decimal places to the right and to the left is the actual number 0, 0.0. So there's no error involved. So that's why the first zeros on the left we can just ignore when we count significant figures. So what this also means is that the idea of significant figures is very closely related to the idea of how accurate a number is. Okay, we'll stop here for this part.